Hi, my preschool friends. It's good to see you again. I've missed you. And I remember that I read you some poems last time, and I'm going to read you some more of the poems from the book called The Animal Fair. This one is called I Went to the Animal Fair. And this one is actually a song. I've heard this before, so I'm going to try and sing it. I'm not the best singer, but I'm going to try anyhow, okay? Because I went to the animal fair, all the birds and the beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The monkey fell from his bunk and slid down the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. And what became of the monkey, the monkey, the monkey, the monk? That was kind of silly. You see him combing his auburn hair. Auburn means kind of reddish. They're so cute. Okay, this one's called Five Little Pussycats. Do you see all the kitties? It looks like there's more than five because I think they're kind of jumping around on the page. Five little pussycats playing near the door. One ran and hid inside, and then there were four. Four little pussycats underneath a tree. One heard a dog bark, and then there were three. Three little pussycats thinking what to do. One saw a little bird, and then there were two. Two little pussycats sitting in the sun. One ran to catch his tail, and then there was one. Have you ever seen a kitty chasing its tail? I like a puppy does. One little pussycat looking for some fun. He saw a butterfly, and then there was none. Do you know what this guy's called? He's a big bird with long legs and a big bushy tail. He is called an ostrich. Here is the ostrich, straight and tall, nodding his head above us all. Here is the long snake on the ground, wriggling on the stones around. Here's the snake. Here are the birds that fly so high, spreading their wings across the sky. Here is the bush rat, furry and small, rolling himself into a ball. Here is the spider scuttling round, treading so lightly on the ground. Oh, look, he's hanging down off his tail. Here are the children fast asleep, and here at night the owls do peep. Do you see the children sleeping? And look at all the cute little owls up watching them. And, let's see, this is called Night Out. Have you ever had a kitty that runs around all night and you don't know where he goes? That's what this poem's about. Nobody knows where Tim Cat goes, down the road or through the meadow. Into the night and out of sight, he hurries past the purple shadow. At break of day, he's back to stay, content with our sunny dwelling. But nobody knows where Tim Cat goes at night. And Tim Cat isn't telling. You're the cat that used to do that. And it would smell like somebody's fireplace when it came home in the morning. Like it went to someone else's house at night. And curled up in front of their fire. This one's about a mouse. Dormouse. Now winter's coming, the dormouse said. I must be thinking of going to bed. So he curled himself up as small as he could and went fast asleep as a dormouse should. It's by Lillian McRae. This one was by Aileen Fisher. Different people write the poems in this book. And that is the end of The Animal Fair. Well, it's so good to see you guys again, and I hope you have a great summer. I'm really going to miss seeing your cute little faces smiling every day, but I know you'll be having some fun, so I hope you stop by and see us next year, or send us an email, maybe a picture of you doing something fun this summer, so we can see what you're doing. All right, talk to you later. Bye.